ಸದಾನಂದಂ ಪರಮಸುಖದಂ ಕೇವಲ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾತೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ಸ್ಯಾಧಿಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಏಕಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ವಿಮಲಮಚಲ ಸರ್ವೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವಾತೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿತ ಸದ್ಗುರು ನಮಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಂ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಅನ್ ಆಲ್ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಕ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಸದಸ್ ಲೈವ್ ಬೈ ಬಾಲಸನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಗುರುಕುಲ್ ಟುಡೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವಾಕ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಸದಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸತ್ಸ ಓಕೆ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಫುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ if you see in your life what you eat is what controls you if you are eating non vegetarian food uh, you can take fish chicken beef everything if you see um, when you kill an animal exactly what it goes through a lot of pain when it goes through a lot of pain it gets stored in the muscle memory of the animal first thing as per our sanatana hindu dharma and we um, as per our sanatana hindu dharma buddhism jainism so many texts if you see causing pain to something is irrevocable karma for which you have to suffer so when you kill an animal it doesn't die telling oh may my flesh be very useful to the world so let everyone eat my flesh and get enriched it doesn't die like that it goes through a lot of suffering and pain and shivers and completely dies which uh, most of us don't see because we go uh, most of us don't see because they just go buy the raw meat from the shop and come so if you see in that case what happens all that pain heavy pain of the whatever goes through when it suffers while being cut when it is being butchered it will be stored in its muscle memory it will be stored in its muscle memory and then the very same thing all those engrams all the anger everything is stored in the muscles we cook that and eat and then what do you think will come it will only be complete anger vengeance violence pain a lot of pain you will not know how to handle life it will be like complete confusion whatever like that animal would have gone through when it was almost dying so whatever the animal gone through is stored in his muscle and we eat it and we also get the same thing so what you eat decides how you function in life what you eat decides how you function in life and when if you see many people who are pure vegetarian diets like our vedic rishis who are always grown on only pure vegetarian diets or complete kayakalpa saints only fruits and leaves if you see they are this thing um their uh, nervous strength everything is very powerful where words were able to create visualization in uh, visualization in them sound was able to easily create visualization in them that's why you see there is no need for uh, movies at those times there is no need for movies just utterance of words like um, vedas you see when vedas were told the people who are receiving it had the visualization in their mind in their brain that which caused the whole thing and they were able to transmit it again it was such a pure brain so like how some of the tells and it has transmitted and if you see as the food started getting diluted the brain cells are started getting diluted as the time passed from krita yuga to treta yuga treta yuga to dwapara yuga the strength of the brain the strength of the nervous system started coming down slowly once it came down slowly it came uh, if you see in kali yuga it's almost gone how long do you think a person will remember almost many people in, uh, so many people in the world having alzheimer's memory loss short term memory suddenly the, you will hear something then 5 minutes later you will forget what you heard 5 minutes back so much in our life happens like this all because the food if you eat the right food the food has three categories ashraya dosha one of the important categories ashraya dosha has ramanujacharya the vaishya vaishya tradition tells ashraya dosha is where the person who cooks it the person who cooks it 
whatever he had when he was cooking if he was having a bad uh, mood at the time he was crying or he was fighting with someone while he was cooking all that only gets stored in the food and that's what you eat and you also will start getting such kind of emotions that's why what you eat from whom you eat does completely matter and that's what controls your life what i feel uh, by when so what i feel what swami ji meant was is that you see that every part of our body is made by the intake of food which we have and it is all uh, it is all the amino acids and whatever we need is coming from outside only so how the food is made how the food is prepared how the food is uh, originated from where it originated really matters because each and every part of your body has memory cells which it uh, remembers whatever happened when it was being made or whatever happens when it was born so when we when we eat non veg you see that uh, how tadu samana said that it goes through lots of violence before it dies so that same thing is stored in our muscles also so that's why everybody you see who eats non veg who is having this uh having a non sattvic diet they are get irritated very easily because they made up the they made up of the muscles that was taken from the animals that was taken from the chickens which were dying so with so much of pain so what do you expect to happen to them when they are going through some incompletion that same thing will come out of them also because their muscles is what releases the hormone their their body is what releases the hormones so the same hormone the same pain guilt fear all this will come out at the, at the time when you go through all this suffering so that's why what i feel is that what you in, what is the intake inside you is what is going to make you up so you better uh, see what you want to eat and base your life on good food are you to what uh, bramas kamara just said like how uh, how food controls our life is when we eat non vegetarian food like chicken or meat uh, when it is about to be dying and you kill it and you eat it like for example uh the same the patterns of or uh, whatever pain the muscle memory which is stored in the animal the same when we eat also we feel uh, it's tasty and we we don't feel anything the same pain or whatever the uh, animal is go- going through the same patterns comes to us so we see for example when um uh, for a person who who eats uh, so much of non vegetarian food they go through so much of so much of ups and downs or emotions are there and they they are not able to be stable they are they are not able to concentrate in one what they do so swami ji always tells in our devotees either if they are eating non veg uh, they should stop eating non veg and start eating the f- vegetarian food so when you eat vegetarian food um we'll be able to see what is what's really happening we uh, will be able to be in the present moment and not going through the pains of powerlessness which other animals are which is going through so let's how food controls our life and uh, how it's controlling our, our, ourselves i have a question so um how does what the food we eat uh, build a society around us how does it make that cognition in the society around us what i feel is that um when we, when we eat for example if we are in living in a very sattvic society we will attract only that kind of people because first of all we attract and we relate to people who do the same kind of stuff like us who people now you will not go and just simply start um uh, going and just uh, mingling with people who you don't know or who are not co- in common with what you do you always only mingle in with the people who um you know like who you are like like people like example um if you see uh like hindus so hindus will uh, always there will be a society uh, for in that society there will mostly be only hindus and um, people who like spirituality so if one person is there he brings around him all the same type of people only around him so same way when you start eating non veg you will meet more people who eat non veg you will build a society you will bring build only that kind of vatavarna around you and this vatavarna is very important because that is what makes you take decisions at time at points of life because of the vatavarna because whoever is there near you who are you know you always go and consult with them so only when you have a right vatavarna your living will be um in a complete space and only when you are in a complete space whatever you want will be able to manifest so when you have when you eat 
sattvic food only good stuff and only good things will happen all around you because that is what you attract towards you also if you see uh, let's take you are living in a non vegetarian community you are living in a pure vegetarian community other time okay let's say you are um, calling everyone there for your feast or for something you are calling them or for uh, for some sraddha ritual you are calling so at the time um the based on the way people re- relate to you whether they will come to your house or no based on what you eat you are living in a vegetarian community and eating in non-vegetarian food and inviting them for a feast do you think they will come no even though it is a even though you will assure them only giving you vegetarian food they will not come it's because what you eat what you eat will create what you are and what you are will create the relationship with others when you are able to do so much when you are doing so much trying to avoid non vegetarian food and always being vegetarian the people you attract will be always vegetarian non vegetarian people won't come they will not they will not get in non vegetarian food so they will not come there same way if a vegetarian if you are only doing non vegetarian means no vegetarian will come there it's because what you do show uh, shows your relationship with uh, your people and what you eat what make you do something so what i feel uh, is that what what i have the answer to this question is that so as you eat things it shows like if you eat non veg it shows how much respect you have towards other people's life and how you are going to deal your own life and how you are going to deal, deal your family's life so by this one thing itself you see that you'll be attracting wrong vibes around you and you'll be, you'll be attracting uh, attracting the people who are more uh, violent towards life who are don't care about life because uh, if you uh, if you are eating non veg that itself means that you have no care you have no sense about other people's life other animals life so once once you start uh, get this cognition of, about having no respect to other people this will start reflecting in your own relationship this will start reflecting in your own life so as and as and as you follow the non vegetarian life you will see that your life will become more and more difficult because you are eating more and more violent violent things your body also will start getting more and more violent and your life also at last will become more violent with you because what your intake is what makes you So that is the vibe you will attract around you also so this is what i feel about it i have a question how is it food cannot be our private affair what i feel that it is not something which you think about only which is something private you because if it's private maximum you'll keep it to your family but when like example when you uh, many times you just start speaking to your friends also about how they speak what they eat and all that so you feel that it is something that you can uh, be, you can tell others also so it's not a private affair what you eat can always be shared you always share what you eat also with your friends with your family members and all that so food is not a private affair and that in hinduism almost in every ritual you have to only give food give food give the, this food to brahmanas give this food to um the poor people give all that so you have to keep giving your food keep um giving good cognition you keep speaking about your food to and the way how to diet now if your friend asks you how do you um diet and all that you give your friend solutions and all all that so food is not something which is only personal to you you keep telling others and giving food to others also is why i feel that food is not a personal affair Uh, so what i feel is that how it is going to means how your food is going to affect the people around you because what you are eating what you are intaking is going to affect the people who are around you also like it's going to influence your friends it's going to influence your family it's going to influence your relatives so as and as you start eating whatever you're not supposed to eat whatever is not healthy you will see the other people around you also is getting influenced through the same things so this is not a matter of just private affair it is your relationship it is your public affair which you're having with all your relatives and friends and family 
so you better mind what you are eating and correct yourself i have a question how can food change your behavior towards god first if you see the way you relate to yourself starts with the way you eat if you relate to yourself okay i am useful for nothing i have so much money but yet i am not happy and uh, what can i do okay at least i'll spend my money in some way so what do you do if you have some good sense if you are having little good sense and little vegetarian food you might be you will at least feel you will do some philanthropy by giving some uh, giving donating to poor and needy donating to uh, contributing organizations or something whereas if you see if you are completely non vegetarian fasting the way you relate to yourself okay anyway i am going to do nothing anyway so much money i have for what i have any anything whatever i want on gaadi car one good tv one latest phone everything i have then what is the use okay at least i'll spend my money eating so what will you do if you'll go on a food tour food world tour going all around the world testing different different food and only wasting your time if you see nowadays even science scientific research tells and even swami is telling that one meal a day or uh, just liquid diet is a very good and healthy practice and that which can actually completely heal you and if you see how this can affect your relationship with god with parameshiva is because the more your brain is sattvic the more you are pure like how i said be- previously and how swami just said if you see the when the mind is pure catching what he is trying to give when your guru is trying to give you something when parameshwar is trying to send you something or teach you something through a situation all that will be easily available when you are in a complete vegetarian diet when you are in a vegetarian diet if parameshwar say, say you have your in a car you had an accident or you did a cheating to your boss and it got exposed and something you will be learning something by that each and every incident so parameshwar is trying to teach you by that kalabara is trying to teach you something by that and in your brain when you are completely vegetarian diet you will know how to relate to it if you see nandanar his life of course he wanted to visit chidambaram he for a long time he had that desire to visit chidambaram and his landlord who he was working under he was a local shudra by birth and his landlord did not leave him for a long time and other than him all the people living uh, with him and working are only drunkards who are not uh, no way connected to god and you see he is only one vegetarian who used to maintain uh, strictly away from uh, drinking and smoking and all that stuff and only one who used to do the work and only be singing of shiva always last in shiva param shiva if you see his life and the people living around him also you can see they are drunkards and as an uh, as it proceeded nandanar once he was able to completely influence them and make them understand parameshiva their food pattern changed their food pattern completely changed so if the food what you eat changes the way you relate to god will change and the, if the way you relate to god changes what you eat also will change this will go in a continuous cycle it will go hand in hand I'd also like to un- share what I understood. So when you eat this uh, meat and when all that uh, goes into your muscle memory, your action changes and you get angry and you create more thoughts in your mind. Uh, you start getting anger, very rude and your full um, mind itself will change into a very uh, very dirty mind but when you start changing your food to sattvic uh, then you start um, speaking more higher truths you start getting more connected to uh, parama shiva and you can uh, manifest more powers that's what i feel i also wanted to add a point like how uh, swami ji says that your food always is uh, what is going to make you think like how now even scientists are proving that your gut is your second brain so what you eat manages your gut bacteria there, there are more than trillions of there are trillions of bacteria inside your stomach so as and when you uh, your food changes from uh, healthy food to toxic food these gut bacteria no longer can survive and they no no, uh, no longer can 
impact your life they impact your life in a wrong way like there are more than uh, 500 neuron cells which is there in your stomach and which uh, maintains the way you think the way you do things so as and when these bacteria are getting destroyed you will see that your uh, mood also is getting duller and you won't be able to think what you need to do like our mind will always be very vague you'll not be able to think what we need to do that's why you see nowadays these people all these uh, younger people they are getting so much so much illusion they're getting into so much of delusion by watching entertainment even though they are not getting any positivity by watching the movies but they think that oh yes i can just get free from my life for uh, for two hours i can just do whatever i want i'll just flow with life i'll just uh, look at the movie and i will waste my time it looks so they are so happy by watching that one hour two hour movie but if you see that what they are doing is that they're just disconnecting from their own life they don't want to be with themselves that is why they're trying to watch this movie so this is all result of their gut bacteria their their food intake this is all because of their toxic food intake that is what is affecting their life in a wrong way so this is what i feel about having a good healthy meal i have a question how by having a strong stomach we can become leaders so what i feel is just like uh, the previous point which i made saying that your gut bacteria is responsible for whatever you do as and as and when you take more and more healthy food your gut bacteria is enriched so they they can they have more uh, breathing space to do what they really need to do like god has made everything for our good only so these gut bacteria they start doing what they supposed to do and they start exciting the brain more by doing good things that's why our the more and more when we start having a satvik food you will see that our life will become more and more happy for no reason actually even though you might be doing the same thing every day our life will start becoming happier because our brain is now starting to work uh, through our meal because what our meal only makes ourselves so as and when you start uh, getting a good diet you will see that you will start becoming leader because a normal quality of a human itself is to be a leader so when you start having the right meal you're supposed to eat and your bacteria is work the way they're supposed to work you will see that automatically you will start getting that uh each it was component of you that will be taking responsibility for other people also if you see like how maharaj said your second brain is your uh, intestine because of the gut bacteria and whenever it is dull because of the food you give because of what you eat it becomes very mad very bad you are completely confused in life you don't know what to do you see when you are confused in life what you will do oh i don't know what to do okay let me at least go to sit and watch some movie and forget myself so i don't get such thoughts or some people don't take it that way i am completely bored of life i don't want to live it okay let uh, let better let me commit suicide and they die if you see so many cases the what they eat has completely decided their life that's why swami has said one meal or uh, just liquid diet completely if you stop eating like pachapat nivartam or nirahara samyama all this can help you and when you do that if you see your gut will be working completely very high it will be in a very high state it will be working continuously it will be working fast and your brain which gets energy from it also will be working very fast and when it's working fast and very good it will be very fresh and active you will not have any problem you will not be confused of what to do so you know what decision you make will take you where you will be more towards your goal when you are more towards your goal you will be able to lead more people who need to come along with you who are having the same goal as you like if you see swami ji he for a long time very eating very rarely living only on liquid diets and you see how he is able to make decisions in his life straight and powerful decisions where not just himself he is able to lead so many people along with him that's the leadership quality because of the power and the strength of the stomach and the gut 
uh, also when you, when you have sometimes when you have a heavy stomach or when you eat so much and you feel heavy yourself you will be unable to make decisions or you'll, when you, even though you make decision you'll be confused whether it is right or wrong whether it's going to lead you uh, whether it's whether it's going to happen or something is going to happen if you make this kind of decision so better if you less intake of food as what swami just said one meal per day or even though take only liquid diet so when uh better better take liquid diet and uh, neither eating anything and that is that's the way you can uh, become a leader or you can uh, have a proper decision in your life what i feel is when you make a strong stomach you can become a leader is because of what food you eat uh, you you uh, you take decisions you make your stomach stronger of what food you eat so when you eat sattvic food or don't even eat and you do uh, nirahar samima or you just stay on liquids like that you start uh, your your stomach stops putting on st- stops putting on uh, weight and you become more energetic active and you'll be so free you will not feel that heaviness on you and when you become more active and energetic you will be able to concentrate on one thing more and then you start taking responsibility and that's how you become a leader if you see a example in buddha's life buddha once Uh, there was a very a great king who used to love hunting who used to be very active even as a young uh, young person who was just in his 30s he was very active who used to go hunting who used to continuously be able to help his subjects clear problems continuously and he as time passed started getting more and more uh, greedy more craving for food so he used to started eating a lot so if you see as he as time proceeded he started eating um, a lot and that has completely dulled his brain he started becoming dull he was not able to do hunting as he wished so very few minutes like if he go he used to go for hours for hunting without any tiredness and as he was going now he was very tired for hunting he he stopped and like uh, liking hunting because he feels so tired and he is doing and he doesn't know why but one side he feels a craving for going for hunting and other side he is like uh, i can't leave food so it has been constantly disturbing his life so one day buddha comes to the kingdom uh, under a tree he is sitting and giving lecture so at the time the king was sits there and sleeps off completely he drowses and completely slept off and doesn't listen to one word buddha said uh, so then after the lecture the king gets up goes near buddha and tells him his problem buddha then calls his son sorry his nephew and tells him okay he gives him a mantra he tells him a mantra and tells him whenever he is eating go tell this so what will happen is okay the next time the king goes for eating he will go tell moderation gives you active activeness you by moderating keeping yourself moderate he will become more active king understood and he started completely reducing his food intake in just 2 3 days whatever he had however he has damaged his body by eating so much just uh, completely got repaired and he was once again uh, young and active and also if you see in our swamiji's life from like now if you see sometime before swamiji we, he looked like he was going little old and now if you see just because he stopped eating and he is on his liquid diet and rarely eating even that rarely is very rarely if you see he looks much much younger even though he is in his 40s he looks like he has uh, he is a 20 year old youth if you see so many examples when you stop food when you stop food and take just take liquids herbal juice and all that stuff you will actually be more and more enriched in your life and you will become more active and the lesser less energy will be used in digesting your food so that much energy is available for your brain to give to your other parts of the body and you can become very fit and healthy so i have a question that e- uh the people who eat non veg they know that while cutting the animal uh, the animal is going through so much of pain but still they eat non veg why i would like to answer this see m- many people outside are still in a cognition that 
non veg is the only source of protein non veg is the only source of vitamin b12 you cannot get this by eating vegetarian food vegetarian food is not as tasty as this so many people are still in that cognition which deludes their mind and uh, doesn't let them think of the other side of the story how the animal was tortured when it was being killed and all that now if you see so many people nowadays are making uh, documentaries even youtube you can go and see of how they torture the animals in the name of um, grooming the animals they just put machines and uh, suck out all the milk of the cows do, do, and then don't let the calf to have anything and the way they just torture the animals no one even wants to think about that even though there is so much of knowledge about how they can do it in a better way so only slowly slowly as now parama parama shiva has come down as our swamiji nityananda parama shiva slowly slowly only swamiji has to keep and we have to keep giving the world a better cognition of what is right and give them remove them the from the delusion that uh, even though the if that is all the thing there are so many vegetarian ways now even if you see elephants don't go and eat meat giraffes don't eat meat but they are so huge and they are so strong so it is not that only meat is the source of protein and can give you muscles there are so many vegetarian ways and other ways to become strong and get all the needs of the body so with this the conclusion of the vakya is this is that having a satvik vegetarian life attracts a better cognition and better vatavarna around you and because of having a vegetarian lifestyle you can have a strong body and strong mind and a strong emotional uh, emotion strength and we can become leaders and finally manifest powers of parmashiva with this we'll conclude with the purna mantra ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದೋರ್ಣಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದ್ಚದೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ದತ್ಸತ್ ಸರ್ವಂ ಭಗವತ್ಶ್ರೀನಿತ್ಯಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವ ಪಾದಕಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ಸೋ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂದ